So, uh, on a daily basis, uh, you're going to use this on your system, and any two transactions on different servers can write to the same system. <coughs> so, what happens is this this don't inter intersect. You're, we are doing simultaneous write. They don't, they don't intersect, and on that case, they intersect. So, you have to be aware of that. That in the middle of your process, you will have transactions that will work because they're concurrently writing in the same data in different nodes. That is achieved, like I said before, by simplification. Uh, so, like I said, you need to configure a full UUID uh, as a group name, because since we only support GTIDs, and GTIDs are a big base for the simplification process, uh, the GTID that the transaction will have <coughs> is, the, is the GTID of the group name. So. There won't be a GTID for this one, for that one, and for that one. You will have a full, it's a dis if you go to this one and this one, they will have the exact same GTID, which is not a one generated by the server and for the server, but the one for, for the group. In terms of management, we only use uh, PS tables, so you can only see information from group application. You don't see it from the, the regular commands. So we have we have the tables to, to check the lash between the, the connection status between the between all nodes, the information that you have for the <coughs> members that you have, so this one member and more members, and the um, more geeky stuff, so you know how many transactions have been dropped, how many transactions are, are holding up to be approved, and everything else. So, in terms of conclusion, uh, it's cloud friendly, so you can deploy things like take this node, take out that node, put that node again. Uh, we revamped server core. Uh, we added hooks to server core to, to put plugins in and out. The, thing, the specific thing that you, that you talked about in ODB was because of we need to board transactions and in ODB didn't expose that, that, uh, that functionality, now it does, so we, we can go to IMODB and say this transaction is more priority and it supports everything that is, let's say, modern in MySQL. So GTID, role-based replication, and performance schema tables. And uh, like I said before, again, it's self-healing. So there's no admin overhead. And it has lots of users in the scenario, although you can still use a node for regular replication. Uh, we've been doing constant web releases uh, every three months. So we like to hear your feedback on this, uh, so I'll be around here the whole day taking picture notes and uh, hear your thoughts about it. And um, with, the, with the new MySQL infrastructure, so group replication and MySQL router, uh, in order to group the clients to the, to the correct nodes that you want to write data to. Uh, in terms of releases, so the major two releases were quite the milestones because we had the new communication engine and uh, that introduces uh, some more platforms. And in the last release, we have Lumi support. Uh, so it's, it's interesting <coughs> that gave some work to, to, to have it working, but it's cool. So the packages are on labs, and we blog a lot about this. So when we have new releases, we do lots of blogs. So throw questions at me. So when a node leaves the group, can it uh, reject any attempts for insert packets, etc.? Otherwise, what would be my indication as a user, or as a, like, uh, I want to do the distrib redistribution of queries uh, on the other servers, how do I know to ignore that application? Um, you leave, yeah, there's a difference if you crash or if you leave voluntarily, okay? If you leave vol voluntarily, you will be able to use that node as any other MySQL node. So if you leave involuntarily, you won't be able to do any queries. So, so say this server has a problem communicating with the rest of the group, I don't know. Does mm -hmm. that mean he will stop rejecting my queries? I don't think. Or, and is there a select, uh, show what's your status? That will yes, with the S tables. Okay. okay. He will report itself as offline. Cool. The, the, the rights will fail, so. Just like printer. Precise? Printer. 
Say that we have work on progress on that. Currently, being honest, it works. Right. If you have six and you go three plus three, the, the remaining three, both group will work. So we won't be able to. Do that. But we're thinking about it. <laughs> like uh, how long the, uh, in uh, node is uh, recovery? Uh, does it need like a donor node? And is that donor node is like in read only state or something like that? Uh, no. You can, there's a capture process. So the donor node will donate until the DYD, but the node that's entering is receiving all the transactions. So what will happen is he will apply all the transactions from that light that he receives, and then he applies the rest. So the group keeps on working even if one node is entering. So then we have two caches, the one that he's receiving, and then he applies the rest of them. Including the, the donor node is still working. Right? The donor node is still working. The whole group is still working, and the new node is already receiving the new transactions. Then it will catch up. Yes. And what would happen if you have one big outer on a, one node? Will support cluster block for this node or for this outer one? No, we don't we support online media. You don't have. Okay, that's that's the point. We don't support uh, online media. That's one of the things. The limitation. I tried to avoid the limitation, not <laughs> on purpose, no, 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 not on purpose, but uh, to have room for, for this type of question. Yes, we don't support online media. Yes. So uh, I have two questions. One of them is, I understand that the transactions are rejected. Mm -hmm. They are always rejected online. There's no way that you can apply and you cannot receive a commit and then you cannot be rejected afterwards. No. Okay. So if it if it works, it works. If it works, it works. And yes. So you get the problem that if Yes. Yeah. And the other one is how big the replication group can be? Uh, uh, and is there a performance penalty for having groups of hundreds or thousands? Or okay. the, the issue that you have there currently is XCOM, uh, the, the communication engine. So it's Paxos, it agrees, it needs an agreement to everyone. So mm -hmm. at most it will it will degrade with the number of groups linearly. Because it has a full connection and it's a consensus protocol, everyone enters in the consensus routes. So everyone says okay to the transaction. That's how it's working. Yes? I didn't understand whether it's a comment or a eventual DCC. So the thing is, it's not a comment, it's event. It's <coughs> so the notes, let me explain the process, it's better. So the notes certify. So they say you can commit to the one that's committing, okay? Because he also receives that exact message on the exact order. Between that point and the rest, they may fail. And between those two points, you may try and read things from that node and it's still not commit. And what kind of latency do you see uh, between the server inside the network? Is that the same week? It's quick. It's <laughs> the, the, <laughs> But you are, no, I say it's quick, you are asking the latency between committing a transaction, saying okay to that transaction, and actually committing it, or the, the, distrib the distribution of the transaction. <coughs> the distribution of the transaction. The reason I'm thinking is because since I work on the on the DCS layer, I work in the new, I always have the problem because I don't. Uh, typically, I'm on I'm on the world that we think of messages and not in transactions. What was the 
You were running over carriages. You just showed me the table. <laughs> <laughs> So thank you for attending.